Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can record program change messages into the Arranger and change them afterwards. This is important for my workflow because I use electron machines and although the force is my main sequencer and drum machine, I use the sequencer, the built-in sequencer of the electron uh, Octatrack and Analog 4 uh, for certain kinds of sequences I want to make. But when performing live, I need to be able to change those uh, patterns. And I thought to myself, uh, what's the best way to do that? And I figured, uh, creating clips with program changes in, inside of them and trigger them uh, while playing, while performing and record it into the arranger so that afterwards I have all those changes recorded and if needed I can change them and uh, make a final arrangement and then record it into Ableton. By the way, you can set program changes per clip uh, in two different ways, you can use uh, edit and tap on the pad you want to edit on the control surface. I will do that now. Okay. And normally it will say program change from track. But we want to use it from clip. And you can set the number over here. Okay. And the other way is, you can create a new clip or an existing clip and long press it. Go to settings and here you have the same screen. Okay, and when you push uh, a clip. Okay, and I'm going to change. I'm going to press another clip. And you see, it will change. Okay. I'm going back. Well, what I then thought was, okay, uh, let's record uh, something in and uh, it should pick up. Let's uh, set loop off, uh, record, record to arrangement. And here we go. All right, that's my first pattern. Now I'm going to pattern number two. when playing it, it also didn't record anything, but it doesn't change. And I, I couldn't figure out what, what, why that was, but now I know. <laughs> uh, these, these changes are recorded as, uh, automation, uh, as an automation parameter. So what you have to do is, the automation button over here, you have to set it to write. And if we try again, record to arrangement, let's see what happens then. Okay. Okay, let's uh, hear it. Yeah. And if we look here, these are very tiny changes, but they are there. And then I thought, okay, it's, it's recording, but how do I change these? These are so small and although when I use a pen, even when using a pen, I, I can't I can't make small changes. 
Okay. I thought to myself, okay, how am I supposed to change those values? And when I looked in the list editor, I noticed that those changes are also recorded here. And now you can easily change them to two or three or four. So you miss the, the visual aspect of it a little bit, but you can record uh, your program changes into the arranger. And this was essential for my workflow. So I'm, I'm uh, very happy that it can, uh, can be done. Well, I, I hope you have learned something from it as well. And I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.